Okay, so I've got this Illinois Everbearing Mulberry here that's been in the ground for a few years. Um, I originally planted it with, uh, without this large perimeter fence around the property, so I let it branch out at about six feet. And now that I've put a perimeter fence up to keep the deer out, I want to have a different form to it. So I want it to branch out maybe at three or four feet off the ground. Okay, so instead of the normal air layering ball that I've used in the past, I'm going to just use a one gallon nursery pot. I've split it down the side, put a couple holes in here and cut a hole in the bottom. We'll slide it down over this and fill it with soil. We've got it labeled Illinois Everbearing Mulberry Air Layer 731 at the end of July. And it should sit right here. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and girdle this trunk here. Uh, let's see. Container's gonna sit right about there, so about midway we'll make our cut. About here. Okay, we'll use our bark lifter. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and scrape along the wood here and make sure we get all that cambium. And the next thing I like to do is expose some cambium along this cut where the roots are. So right now there's just a little bit of cambium around this edge. Just see that bright green? If you make some more cuts around here, like this you can see we get more cambium exposed and I, in the past i've seen more roots form from there okay so now i'm going to go ahead and put some clonex on here some rooting hormone to help this along Okay, and now we've got our container. Let's flip this around. See if it fits. Okay. Don't need to put anything under to hold it. I think it might be perfect. Okay. I'm going to fill that with soil. This is ProMix and I pre-moistened it a bit. Make sure to get all the air pockets out of there. All right, so I want this uh, Pro mix a little bit moist, but I don't want it soaking wet. Okay, and I can just poke a little hole right up in here and water it when I need to, but that'll help keep some of the moisture in. Okay, so for the two smaller trunks, we have an air layer on each. I decided to wrap them all in the plastic wrap to keep moisture in. And then for this larger trunk, I came up to where it splits into three, and I did an air layer on each one of those three trunks. So we'll check back in about two months, a month and a half, and we'll see how they look.